Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India we are talking about the power and leadership uh, we will be discussing about the definition of power uh, leader versus power sources of power leader motive motivation to manage uh, research paper case studies and book recommendations uh, as usual uh, 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 for this uh, particular session the true leader must submerge the himself in the foundation of the people and therefore in that case uh, whenever we are talking about the use of the power right so therefore uh, it, it, there should not be the power distance the submerge uh, himself in the uh, in the fountain of the people uh, that 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 means that 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 is the uh, we we he is not different he is a part of them and therefore how this is to be uh, uh, done and practice that we will see uh, power is simply um, the ability to get things done the way one wants them to be done and this definition uh, you might be uh, connecting with the definition of the manager right so manager is powerful why is powerful because he gets the things done the way w one wants them to be done is there right but the manager is getting that thing done done with the help of the positioning power in the power also there are different types of powers so therefore but that is the positioning power is there leadership power is the influence the behavior of others so getting things done by influencing the others power refers to a capacity that a has to influence the behavior of b so the b acts to accordance with a's wishes as i mentioned the most important aspect of power is that it is a function of dependence the greater b is dependence on a the greater a's power in the relationship is there so therefore if you take about the subordinate superior relationship then if the subordinate is uh, highly dependent on a then definitely then uh, in that case uh, uh, the a will be having the more power and the dependence in turn is based on alternatives that b perceives and the importance b places on the alternatives a controls wonderful uh, statement so therefore in that case now b is having the many options now whose power he should accept so then he will have the choice on that right so therefore in that case it is the acceptance uh, of the b towards a whether to accept the power or not to accept the power so robert uh, dial in 1957 a has power over b to the extent that he can get b to do something that b would not otherwise do right and therefore in that case uh, uh, that that uh, uh, the when when we will say that power is ex exercised because if he himself is doing then there is nothing new but when he is doing otherwise he would not do but he is doing because of a so we will say the a's power has been exercised the bertrand russell in 2004 power may be defined as the production of intended effects and therefore in that case uh, it will be always always uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, that what we want to get done so that that is why we say it is the intended effects is there the uh, romano uh, uh, gardini in 1998 power is the ability to move reality hmm? so that is the make the move for the uh, the whatever the things are to be done max weber in 1980 opportunity which permits one to carry it out one's own will even against resistance and regardless of the basis on which the opportunity rests this is a, a very very highly potential uh, definition is there that is uh, whenever if whatever the opportunity is there and on basis of that opportunity uh, the person is uh, been influenced to avail that particular opportunity the basics of power definition is the ability to exercise the control over the others and leadership is the ability to influence people 
to follow the your instructions and uh, in leadership it is also uh, is the ability to uh, influence is there but the difference between the control and influence is control is having the uh, that uh, position right here it is written that is a source source is of the power is uh, there is a position while it is in the leadership the power uh, source is personal attribute and because of the personal attribute of the individual, the other person is following the uh, that particular uh, job, doing that particular job. Credibility is not needed, it is needed and nature is forceful and controlling while the here leadership it is the inspiring is there. That is why whenever we talk about the control over the others to do the things right, then many times we find as soon as the control is absent the person stops doing, but when we talk about the influence. So, not necessarily that the person is uh, 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 is directly controlling over either. I would like to give the example when the children, children are away, away from the home. So, whether they were under the control or they were under the influence of the family culture. So, when, when, when they come out from the home get the opportunity to live away from home and the way they behave which shows that they were not behaving earlier in the family at home because there was a control over them right. But when they are away from the family and even even still they are not doing uh, anything wrong which is not acceptable then in that case uh, uh, then it, it will it, it will be about that inspiring is there. So, therefore, they are they are highly inspiring. So, whenever they are highly inspiring so because of the influence of parents, parents has influenced them they, they have made the foundation and that foundation is this that is the you are not supposed to do anything wrong. So, they will not do anything wrong, they will do the things which are the socially acceptable are there. So, sources of leader power in the leader follower situation framework is that is the uh, leader is having the expert, expert is there right and therefore, the follower the follows him and the referent is there, they are different power because of the referent is there, course is there and the reward is there. Well, the situation is the legitimate situation, legal situation is there, positioning situation is there and therefore, the per person is following. In the case of the French and the Ravens power taxonomy, the formal power is the reward power, legitimate power and the coercive power are there and in the personal power it is the expert power and the referent power is there. So, whenever we are talking about the reward power, so reward power involves the potential to influence the others due to the one's control over desired resources and this can include the power. Uh, to give the raises, bonus and promotion that is the reward power, to grant tenure that is the reward power, to select the people for special assignments or desirable activities, so that is also a reward power is there. So, uh, whenever we are talking about the, uh, uh, the rewards to distribute the desired resources like the computers resources uh, uh, allocation or to in, uh, interested the positively on another's behalf right. So, then definitely in that case that will be the reward power to recognize with awards and present so on to the person and therefore, in that case uh, whenever he is in the at the workplace he has, he has been uh, highly rewarded and recognized and the praise then de definitely he is using that reward power is there. No legitimate power and a person's organizational role, role and responsibilities, it can be thought of as one's formal or official authority. And some people make things happen because they have the power or authority to do so. So, therefore, in that case it, it, it is becoming the uh, more for, uh, they, they have the power or authority. So, here whenever we are having the one's formal or official authority to do right then definitely in that case uh, uh, it, it is becoming a very very important thing that is the we, we are having that organization structure and hierarchy and with that organization structure and hierarchy the person will be having the legitimate power. Like for here if we are having this particular position then definitely this person is having the power over the directly with these two and indirectly with, uh, with this rest of the re, re, rest of the level 3 employees. But uh, whenever we, we are talking about uh, the exercising the power then they, they have the power authority to do so when the things are going to be the happen and here 
it becomes very very important that is the bo this boss assigns the projects the code who plays uh, then therefore in the, this uh, a this is b and therefore he assigns the job uh, the kernel orders compliance with the uniform standards and the teacher assigns the homework and awards grades are there so therefore in that case whatever the job assignment will be there that will be used by the positioning power coercive power is the opposite of the reward power is a potential to influence the others through the administration of negative sanctions of the removal of the positive events and in other words it is the ability to control others uh, through the fear of punishment or the loss of valued outcomes is there So, uh, this type of the power nowadays is the minimum exercise power because if you will use no, this power then definitely people will be away from you and then only you can use the legitimate or the positioning power. You cannot use this power, uh, this, can, this power cannot be used as a tool of the influence the behavior of others that is leadership. So, leadership with the coercive power is man managership can be done with the coercive power, but leadership cannot be done with the coercive power is there. So, in other words, it, it is the ability to control with the fear of punishment because as I mentioned that is the this positioning power will be toward, towards the more administrative power. But when we are talking about uh, uh, administrative position power, administrative position, but whenever we are talking about uh, this uh, uh, the in leadership, so that is the influence is there. So, this will not be the influence. Expert power, knowledge is a power. When the Sri Krishna asked the Arjun to make me the powerful, uh, most powerful person, and then the Sri Krishna told, Gyanmeva Shakti, knowledge is power. So, therefore, uh, uh, what happens if you have the money power? Money, money power will go with the period of time, the muscle power will go with the period of time. Uh, so, whatever the beauty you are having we will, will go with the period of time is there. If you have the position power, position will go with the period of time. So, therefore, uh, whether you are having the money, muscles, beauty or the positioning power that will go uh, with the period of time. What, which power will not go? Your knowledge power. So, that expert power, power of knowledge that will never go and that is why Sri Krishna told Gyanameva Shakti, knowledge is power. Some people can influence others through their relative expertise in particular area. A, a surgeon may wield the considerable influence uh, in a hospital because other dependent on, on her or him knowledge, skills and judgment even though she may have, uh, she may have no formal authority over them. So, formal authority may be with the administration. But when, 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 when a doctor, when a doctor in the hospital, a chef in the hotel, uh, or the teacher in the economic institute uh, exercise the power and that power is the knowledge power they exercise. Referent power refers to the potential influence one has due to strength of the uh, relationship between the leader and the followers are there. And when people admire a leader and see her as a role model, we say she has the referent power is there. So, it is always the referent power has been used for the strength of the relationship between the leader and the follower is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever uh, potential influence are seen the people start to follow on the basis of that reference power is there. May respond positively to the advice or request from teachers who are well liked and respected while the some students might be unresponsive to less popular teachers are there and therefore, in that case that, that, that is becoming the example of the reference power is there. Which basis of power are most effective? Personal sources of power are most effective and therefore, in that case always both expert and different power are positively related to the employee satisfaction with supervision, their organizational commitment and the performance is there and this will be done with, with related to the employee's uh, satisfaction and supervision is there. Reward and legitimate power seem to be unrelated to these outcomes are there. So, therefore, in that case many times this reward, uh, rewards and legitimate power uh, they, they, they are not seen to be very much relevant. Coercive power actually can backfire in that it is negatively related to the employee satisfaction and commitment is there. So, therefore, if you are getting work done forcefully then many times sometimes it may backfire also because that may that might be taken as a negatively to employ satisfaction and commitment. So, what is the key to the power? So, dependence is the key to the power. 
if the person is dependent on you, he will follow your power. Uh, the things below creates a dependence, importance. It refers to the value of the resource. The key question here is how important is this? Value of the resource is very, very important. If the resources are skill you control are vital to the organization, you will gain some power. The more vi uh, vital the resources that you control are the more power you will have, right? So, therefore, it is the what knowledge and skills you are required that you can control and that, that will be decided uh, on the basis of the dependency. So, if you are having the strong knowledge uh, uh, when you when you are having the all the control over the uh, whatever the job is to be done, then definitely you are having the dependency of your followers and you will be power, uh, a powerful person. Scarcity, it refers to the uniqueness of a resource. Uh, the, the more difficult something is to obtain, the more valuable it stems to be. So, therefore, in that case, this is also important. The power, power is not uh, very common, power will not be given to all. So, there is a scarcity of the power. There will be the few positions and um, demanding are more and therefore, that will be the power. So, so, that will be more difficult something to obtain, the, the more valuable it tends to be. Non substitutability. The, the fewer viable substitutes for a resource, the more power control over that resource provides is there. There are many types of the power and also have principles. Power is a perception, power is a relational concept, and the power is a resource based is there. And therefore, uh, actually, who is more powerful? Who is influencing? So, therefore, it is a perception basically. And it is not only in case of the leadership, in the managerial power also, it is the perception of the individual which is making him the move. For example, if the subordinate is there and if he perceives that is the, his perception is he perceives that that his boss is very highly influential, then definitely he will use, uh, he will follow that his power. So, power as a relational concept is there and power as a resource based is also there. So, in that case, uh, whenever we are talking about the power as a resource based is there. So, what resource the person has, the way he is having the resources, then that will be more powerful. Power as a prerogative is also used by the many people and the enabling or the disabling, uh, disabling their, their, their ability. And the principle of the least interest and dependence power is there. And therefore, in that case, we will find that is the people are looking for power. So, what is the need for the power motive? People vary in their motivation to influence or control others. Uh, this is a desire. And McLean called this the need for power. And individuals with a high need for power derive psychological satisfaction from influencing others are there. So, they, 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 uh, there are the people, those who are highly in need of power. And then when they, they cannot live without power. If somebody uh, snatch the power from them, they become very, very restless. So, therefore, need for power is becoming very, very important. So, individuals with a high need for power derive the psychological satisfaction uh, from the influencing others are there. They seek the positions where they can influence others and they are often involved uh, concurrently in influencing people in many different organizations or the decision making uh, bodies are there and they will be working accordingly. Two types of the power motives are there, the personalized power motive and socialized power motives are there. Now, in the case of the personalized power motive, individuals who have a high need for personalized power are relatively selfish, impulsive, uninhibited and lacking of self-control. And these individuals exercise power for their own needs and not for the goods of the group or the organization. So, therefore, in that case, it is the personal interest is very, very important. So, whenever the persons, they, they, they exercise their power for their own needs, right, then definitely in that case, uh, that will not be the good of the group, group for the group or the organization is concerned. So, uh, whenever we are talking about the socialized power is there, socialized power is exercised in the service of the higher goals to others or organizations and often involves the self-sacrifice toward those ends. It often involves an empowering rather than an autocratic style of management and leadership is there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it is suggested that rather than the autocratic, uh, this style of management and leadership, uh, it, is, uh, it is better that is we are having the participative style of leadership. And therefore, what we do in the socialized power, it is the influence. The social pressure is there. Because of the influence of the social pressure, the people are ready to do the work. 
the motivation to manage is individuals vary in their motivation to manage in terms of six com uh, the composites, maintaining the good relationship with authority figures because the power motivates them, uh, because the, their, their authorities are into the power, so therefore their good relationships are there. Wanting to compete for recognition and advancement and therefore in that case uh, actually they want to win because they are competing and for competing purposes uh, what, what they do uh, that uh, they, they will go for uh, the recognition and the a a advancement and in recognition and advancement of this type of the issues uh, they will go uh, here they will make the uh, uh, they get the influence by the power is there. Being active and assertive is there, so therefore uh, because they want to exercise the power always they will be active and assertive uh, waiting to the exercise influence over subordinates and therefore in that case uh, it is becoming very very important that is the to exercise this influence of these uh, leaders uh, they are going for the, uh, the over the subordinates being visibly different from followers uh, because uh, what happens when you have the power. So, you, you are looked at the different status right. So, people, people know that is the uh, uh, they, they are at this particular position and therefore, their benefits can be derived. So, that is the uh, many times that is they influence the power to over the subordinates being visibly uh, actually uh, uh, because they, they are in the position. So, and rest of the people are not in the position. So, they are treated uh, and uh, uh, seen uh, especially the differently being willingness to do routine administrative task and therefore, in that case uh, they are very keen to do this uh, routine administrative task is there. Now, I would like to give you a tip it becomes very very important that is the what you want to be. Uh, for example, in the academic institutes if you want to be the knowledge power uh, then uh, to, uh, which, is, which is a permanent power evergreen power. So, therefore, you have to enhance your knowledge and uh, then especially young, young uh, academicians and they will acquire more knowledge and uh, with the national international exposure and understanding and learning with the period of time they will be adopting this particular power. While uh, if, if uh, the in the academic institute also uh, somebody is very keen to be the administrative positions because they are willing to do the routine administrative task also or they want to make the good relationship with the authority, they want to compete for recognition and advancement because whenever you are into uh, you will be seen differently as compared to others when you will occupy the administrative position in the academic institutes you will be seen differently and uh, some people they are having that want to be seen differently that will be the motivation. So, um, here uh, 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 they, uh, now we will talk about uh, uh, this uh, research paper uh, the, here the power and transformational leadership in the public organization. The purpose of this paper is to examine the relationship between the pursued power and transformational leadership in the public sector is there. Now, uh, I, I would like to re uh, uh, recall that is the we have talked about this is the transactional and transformational and charismatic leadership styles those models. Please do not forget about those models because those models transformation leadership style in that public sector uh, related to that uh, particular strategy and uh, this particular uh, uh, paper has been discussed. The authors investigate this topic empirically in the context of the German police forces using between groups uh, design manipulating power and statistically analyzing the results on the multifactor leadership questionnaire. So, therefore, uh, uh, the, 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 this particular paper it is talking about the German, poli, uh, German uh, uh, police forces right and uh, between the group design is there and uh, what happens that is the they manipulating the power and statistically analyze the results are there. So, being an empirical study uh, the data was collected and uh, on basis of the data on uh, the multifactor leadership questionnaire which was collected and they have analyzed. Police officers with a high perception of power achieve significantly lower scores on transformational leadership compared to their low power counterparts are there. And therefore, in that case as far as the transformation leadership is concerned uh, that they were scoring the less. The study contributes to advancing public leadership theory by showing that transformation leadership which is considered as particularly useful in public organizations is likely to be adversely affected by leaders power 
Furthermore, it also extends on the literature and power by providing first empirical evidence that power has a significant impact not only on the factors such as the pursuit of a goal, social behavior or affect, but also on leadership is there. So, therefore, this paper uh, purely talks about that is the how uh, that uh, a significant impact can be there um, on the basis of uh, uh, the leadership and uh, making this uh, effect of the power. The results suggest either to control power accumulation in leadership positions of public organizations for the instance for the implementing fleet hierarchies or to come up with terms with the more authoritative leadership style in the top management is there. Now, uh, here uh, this uh, um, case study we will talk about uh, uh, the these two jobs. Uh, the fortune named Steve Jobs uh, in 2007, the most powerful person in business. In 2009, the magazine named him CEO of the decade and jo uh, Jobs, the CEO of Apple Incorporation has transformed no fewer than five different industries, computers, Hollywood movies, music, retailing and the wireless phones. So, most of us uh, they know the, uh, these two jobs on the basis of the computer only, but uh, he has two uh, very, very few uh, we know that is Hollywood movies, music, retailing and uh, wireless phones also. Uh, that that is the he is the CEO of uh, for these uh, all these businesses. So uh, uh, we should read in the personal computer era in 1977 and the graphical uh, interface of the uh, Macintosh in 1984 set the standard that all other PCs uh, uh, that emulated. His company picture defined the computer animated picture film. The iPod, iTunes, and iPhone revolutionized how we listen to music, how we pay for and receive all types of and digital content and what are the aspects of a mobile phone is there. So, how this leadership has been achieved by these two jobs? The jobs draws on the all five types of the power, legitimate power, expert power, reward power, coercive power and different power. And his vision and sheer force of all, all helped him succeed as a young unknown, but the same determination that helps him succeed as a darker side, an autocracy and a drive for perfection that can make him the uh, tyrannical, right. So, therefore, uh, uh, let us uh, take each of these in turn, legitimate power is legitimate power. So, a CEO of the Apple jobs enjoys the unquestioned legitimate power is there. Expert power, his success has built a tremendous amount of expert power. Jobs is renowned for being able to think of markets and products for needs that people did not uh, even uh, uh, know they, they had. So, therefore, even the people were not knowing what the need is there, but job was, uh, Steve Job was able to identify those needs uh, as an expert uh, in advance. Uh, reward power is one of the richest individuals in the United States job has reward power both within and outside Apple. He also can reward the individuals with his time and attention. Um, coercive power, forcefulness is uh, uh, helpful when tackling large intractable problems, says Stanford social psychologist Roderick Kramer, who calls about job one of the great, uh, the great intimidators. And Robert Stone notes that the degree to which people in Silicon Valley are afraid of jobs is unbelievable. Jobs is known to uh, breed people to uh, to the point of tears. And therefore, in that case, you will find that is how this coercive power have been used. Referent power at the same time, he inspires astounding effort and creativity from his people. Uh, employee Andy has first the lead uh, designer of the original Mac operating system says jobs amuse the employees with a machinic zeal and can make them feel that they are working on the greatest product in the world and like this way he was influencing. So, um, this is the book is the recommendation um, is there uh, that is the uh, is uh, decoding the inspirational leadership when execution is not enough. So, therefore, in that case what happens you know especially uh, in uh, many organizations that is uh, they have done only the executions and therefore, the, there the inspirational leadership uh, uh, is required at time. So, that the organization can be uh, revive and survive. Uh, this book describes the behavior to inspire that can be learned to turn a good leader into a great leader. Nowadays, we all are talking about the good, good workplace to the great workplace, uh, good leader to a great leader. Uh, understand the neuroscience of inspiration. Uh, the tailor your inspirational approach to different leadership uh, scenarios. Uh, initiate an inspirational uh, ca the cascade to influence people at scale. The picture of leadership has changed over time. Today's great leaders are authentic 
enthusiastic decision makers with engaging the visions who are quick to communicate and take action. Less than half of all CEO believes that their training investments will pay off, yet and everyone agrees that leadership drives performance where is the disconnect. Now, it is in the belief that simple leadership behavior equal results, forgetting that exceptional results only come from the inspiration is there. So, highly the inspiration, high will be the results are there. These are the references which you can uh, refer uh, later on uh, that uh, about uh, this uh, leadership uh, and uh, when uh, this particular book especially when the when the execution is not enough uh, decoding in inspirational leadership that is also I am sure that will help you to understand this particular concept uh, uh, with the more effectiveness is there. Um, uh, this uh, some of these uh, contents have been taken from the uh, websites, these are the web references are there, that is a social media and then the Rofi Pack and then this um, Miriam and, and also the press books uh, uh, in college, uh, uh, these, these references uh, have been uh, uh, taken uh, so that the further readings you can uh, make uh, use uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, how we can make this uh, the power and the leadership power, make the use of the power as a leadership uh, tool and mechanism. So, this is uh, uh, all about uh, the power and leadership. Uh, so, uh, you, you understood uh, that is the how these uh, personality and the types of power which we can use for the influencing the behavior of others. Thank you.